Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we are learning all about the purple tang today. Prices on them, you'll spend a whopping $150 on them. They are very expensive, mainly because they come from so far away. Tank size, you need about a 55 gallon if you get them small, but eventually he will need that upgrade to about a 100 gallon. He really just needs that good 4 feet of swimming room to run back and forth because he is a very, very active swimmer. Care level, moderate. Temper, he can be semi-aggressive. He is a tang. They are very territorial. Like any other tang, they pretty much become queen of the tank, and anything that's added in there, they really check them out to make sure what's going on. Reef compatible, definitely. He looks the best in a reef tank, but he also can go in a fish-only tank. Temperature, keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Diet, they are herbivore. You gotta make sure these guys are eating algae. Sea veggies is the best way to do it comes in a little dry seaweed, you cut them up in little squares, throw them on a clip and drop them in there at least once a day. And that'll keep his aggression down, it'll keep him good and healthy, away from any diseases, and it also keeps his colors looking really, really good. I know a lot of times we get angels in that do not look too good, and we keep them eating algae like three times a day, and within a week you can definitely see a difference in their color. So keep him well fed with that veggies. Max size, they can get up to 10 inches, that is really big. Compatibility, just ask, I would recommend being the only one in the tank. I haven't really seen people do well with putting multiple purple tangs in a tank. They will definitely fight each other. Color is of course that nice purple with the yellow tail that people love. In origin, they come from the Red Sea. So, normally tangs will fight other tangs with the same body shape. These guys are zebra soma, so you need to watch out putting other zebra somas in there. We actually have paired him up with other yellow tangs and they didn't mess with each other, but you definitely want to watch out for aggression to make sure they don't start swinging tails at each other. And the back part of their tail, there's a little bitty spot where they can flare out this little bone and they swat their tail at other fish in the tank and they'll actually stab into them. Really got to watch out for that. We've had to take cleaner ass out of tanks because they've gotten stabbed by it from getting annoying and cleaning them too much. And the dude had a hole straight through him. It was not good. I hope you all have a good day. That's everything for the purple tang. He's basically your yellow tang, just a lot more expensive. Hope you all have a good day. I will see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. We got plenty of them. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I can't thank y'all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish. And here we are a thousand deep and it feels great. So to celebrate, for the whole month of June, every single day, I'm going to put out a new episode of All About, about some kind of fish, some kind of crustacean, maybe different things on how to take care of stuff. But just either way, every single day, you're going to be getting a video from me. And it's going to be awesome. Maybe even more videos. So here we go. Stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a thousand subscribers.